Mia. I would like to introduce everyone to my mother. Her name is Rita. She has taught me many lessons about life, Jesus, and most importantly, change. I have recently come to I have recently come to give her true, genuine respect. Personally, at times I thought that she has she has made the wrong decisions. Some of her wrong decisions include being addicted to heroin. She was addicted to heroin even before I was born. I would like to truthfully say that uh, I really think that my father and I were just ways that she used to fix her problems. She was selfish. She was selfish in the fact that during her heroin abuse, she uh, often would leave me with uh, individuals for days and weeks on end. She later turned to alcohol abuse, endless nights of partying, uh, depression that came along with this abuse. She often would neglect me as a child, keeping to herself in her bedroom, locked tight, drinking and, and doing things in her room. Often I remember her being unkind. Uh, when I was in the kindergarten, she had, I had made a picture for her and she had took that picture and just crumbled it up and balled it in my face. The lessons that I learned young were very hard. They, were, they could often be uh, stunted. They could often stunt the growth of a young child. But through those lessons, she has taught me how to be strong and how to prevail no matter what is going on around you. Jesus. I can say she truly, she, she introduced me into Jesus. When I was a child, she made us go to church. She didn't attend but she made us go to church, I'm thinking because she wanted some peace and quiet on a Sunday afternoon. Eventually, with us begging and begging, she eventually went to church herself, later giving her life to Christ, and then she showed me how to truly love and walk for Jesus. I remember endless nights of hers in her room, praying, asking God to help her, asking God to be there with her. I remember her reading her Bible, so much so that when she ripped the covers off of her sheets to wash them, the Bible would often get wrapped up in the sheets and thrown in the washer. And most importantly, she taught me Psalms 91. It's a passage in the Bible that gives me great comfort during the times of stress, during the times of uncertainty, during the times where I feel like I don't have anyone with me. As I read this passage in the Bible, I can feel that she's sitting right next to me. Change, my mother has shown me change because she has went from the life of a drug addict, of an alcoholic, to a very depressive person, to a loving, kind individual. <coughs> I witnessed this 360 degree change within her life with my very own eyes. With that, I was able to realize that God is real and that God can change us and that it just takes a little faith and he will do exactly that. <laughs> although my mother has made a few bad choices, although she has made some things, she has done some things that I would have disagreed with as a mother myself. She did give me one great gift. She, she became pure in heart and she showed me how to love the Lord truly in her heart and her spirit. And as a mother, I would think that there's no greater gift than I could give my child than to know the love of the Lord. <laughs>